Internal bits are bits that are inside the processor. They do not actually exist in the real world. We can program as many bits as we want to perform certain functions. And you'll find that they are going to be used quite regularly and they also are very helpful in programming. So I know that I am going to turn all of my inputs into work bits eventually. So each one of the inputs on my station is then going to be tagged to a bit. And I'm going to go ahead and set those up now. So I'm going to come up here and copy the address symbol description. And I'm going to go ahead and paste it right here and start. Okay. In programming, you have multiple bits that you can choose from. I'm going to start with the address B3 because we know that in RS Logics, a B3 file is where all of our binary bits are stored and we can have multiple words to choose from actually up to 256. I'm going to use B3 colon 0 as the first word that I'm going to use and I'm going to assign all of those bits to a input on the PLC. So I'm going to start with typing the address B3 colon zero slash zero in my processor. I'm going to click that and then I'm going to autofill again all the way down to 15 because that way I don't make any mistakes. Status again is zero and we autofill all that and now we do the symbol. So I know that each one of the stations has an input and I'm going to match that to a bit so the first one that I am going to match is going to be the base underscore cylinder underscore retracted. Base cylinder retracted. Okay, and the next one, B3 colon zero one, I'm going to make it base cylinder extended okay and the next one that I'm going to match is going to be B3 colon 0 2 and I am going to use that as my inspection cylinder so I'm going to call that INSP underscore cylinder underscore retracted and I can give it a little bit more unique description okay base cylinder retracted base cylinder extended inspection cylinder retracted and now I'm going to do a couple more and then I'm going to be turning it loose to you so the next one of course is going to be inspection cylinder extended so inspection cylinder extended okay and you just continue on you can create an internal bit for each and every input that is on the actual station so we've got several inputs left and I would keep going through and assigning those to each and every physical input that's on the actual station. 